Green Machine. Hey, what's up with it, y'all? Welcome to my podcast, Cold Narratives. I'm your host, Iceberg Green. About to let y'all hear some of these cold narratives. Check it out. What's up with it, y'all? Iceberg Green and this thing. So this is my message to the fellas out there. You know, um, <laughs> I just want y'all to know, don't let them bully you. Um, don't let them uh, pretty much ridicule you and try to use that she's a woman thing. It's not going to happen. Most men understand what's at stake here. And then, um, unfortunately, uh, Kamala, it's over for you. Uh, but anyway, for my ladies, this is for my ladies right here. Ladies, come on, y'all. How would y'all feel if she got a child like that? Ladies, how would y'all feel? 21 days ago, and she done talked about all the stuff she's going to do for middle class and immigrants and LGBT, everybody. Even us. Or what if she said what she was going to do for black men first? Boom. Then at the end of all that, she said, you know what? I'm going to do something for the ladies because I forgot about y'all. I'm going to let y'all get a grant. I mean, excuse me, not even a grant because a grant you give for free. She said loans. We would have to pay that shit back. But anyway. And, um, oh, yeah, for my black women, I'm going to let them open up a weave shop, beauty supply, nails, all that stuff. How would y'all feel? I'm just being honest because as a black man, I don't feel comfortable with 21 days ago. And she come up with a plan that includes others. If you read the plan, it don't just say black men. It say others, too. That's the trick bag. So and y'all, a lot of y'all fall for it. You know, and um, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I don't support who don't support us and keep me and my people as a priority. If you can prioritize everything else in this country, we're an American. We're Americans. We're not immigrants, y'all. First of all, let me say that too. Second of all, third, whatever. Black people, stop acting like you're an immigrant. You're not. You're an American. Did you forget what your people did? You're an American, so stop acting like y'all immigrants out here and y'all don't know what's at stake for black Americans. So ladies, fellas, let's remember what's at stake, our family, our generational wealth. She's not trying to do that. She's not trying to do that. And ladies, if she gets in there, Sister girls, if she gets in there and don't do shit for y'all, then what? Because a lot of y'all don't go to no HBCUs. A lot of y'all are not even middle class because I know I'm not. So who is she catering to when she's saying middle class? Is it you? It's not me. And then in the last second, 21 days ago, y'all. And brothers, don't fall for it. My black man, don't fall for that shit. If they're trying to plagiarize and switch stuff up and manipulate you with this propaganda about how she's a woman, Obama, old trauma. I'm going to call him old trauma. That's what he is. Because he's causing trauma to the black community. Because he's not one of us, y'all. He's not. Come on, man. Only people you hang with it is entertainers. And the gang never came to Detroit, Oakland, in the trenches and fucked with nobody. Have you ever seen Obama in your hood? Ladies. What, what, have you seen Kamala in your hood? You're not sexy red. You're not making us down. So you are not. You're not a priority. So, again, I am going to sit on the couch this election. You don't have to, but don't be mad at me because I'm sitting on the couch. I'm not voting for no damn Trump. Are you serious? I am not going to vote for a white supremacist. But I'm also not going to vote for someone that doesn't understand what's at stake for black people, black Americans. We are not about to be last on a totem pole. No more. 
You're not getting our vote without earning it and giving up tangibles. Everyone that's listening is go in a dictionary and look up tangible. And then include that with black Americans. Shit we ain't had. Do you feel like you got anything tangible? Is the public school system tangible for your kids? And after four years and more as a senator, as all this other stuff, she's had enough time to get black people right. I don't want to hear it takes more time. To, it doesn't. Them laws and them policies you see in there for these different groups didn't take long. We need reparations with a check. If she says, if, if y'all seen that interview, she keep sidestepping the reparation situation. We need a study. You know, and that's the, okay, I got to go there. They talking about we need a study for black people to get reparations as if there's no history books. Or their history books. You went to college. Didn't you study slavery? We talking about somebody that's about to be president and telling us we need to study slavery. I'm not with it. And neither should you. So again, support who supports you and your best interest policies. I'm just playing. I ain't the angry black man. I'm just getting my point across, you know, because I knew it was coming. The angry black man, nope. I'm excited to stand up for myself and my vote and protect my vote. I am excited for this. You know, finally they hear us. You see how they came out the cut with off a black man. Where did that come from, y'all? It came from black men putting our foot on their neck. Now everybody wants to say, oh, we should take that. If she said loan, she did not say grant. Y'all know the difference between a Weed. That's what we stand for, black people. Didn't Cheech and Chong have a weed? That's a deal. How many of y'all want to open up a cannabis club? Don't you want to do something else? What if you want to get a contracting company? What if you want to be Tyler Perry? 50 Cent. Not Tyler Perry, though. I don't know why I threw him in there. But anyway, I'm done. And you should be done with that bullshit. The Democratic Party done got y'all in a strong vote blue no matter who. Y'all in no trauma. And Kamala, Kamala, Kapisha, I don't care. So y'all have a good one. I'm Iceberg Green. That's some cold shit. I want to thank you all for tuning in. Also want to say God bless those who don't get a struggle. Make sure you watch out for them cold narratives that the government trying to push on us, y'all. To all my black people, I will be nothing without y'all. God bless you all.